about to pull up, y'all. And I told you, if one person see one truck, another truck gonna come. So in this instance, I seen this guy. So my truck came. Now this guy seen this guy and seen my truck. Now he came. I told you. Wait, shoot. One truck see one, it's gonna attract others. I'm trying to tell you. I know my shit. I might not know everything, but I know most. Or what should I say? I know enough to do my damn job. Mm -hmm. You tell him, Victor. All right, he said he ain't gonna tell y'all, but I told you. All right, Dad, I'll be back. Thank you. No, you know. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Matter of fact, let me ride around and show y'all how these trailers are set up. Matter of fact, y'all can see how it's set up, but man, the way they got these trailers, I don't see how. You gotta be really careful what trailer you pick because you ain't gonna make the turns to get out. So I'm gonna pick the most convenient trailer to get out of here. And you gotta be careful riding on this mud. You mess around and get. Like mud can be just as bad as ice. I'm gonna show y'all once so I can get attached. Hopefully this trail I'm about to back into is not too low. Which it doesn't look, uh, it might be too low. Nope, perfect fit. All right. All right, Texas. So like I said, you always wanna have a flashlight, so let me get the flashlight. Come on, y'all. We got work to do. Gotta get my empty. I ain't got no more hours left. I am so out of time. Good thing truck stop is right down the street. But when you pull into some of these places, you best believe, like, you know, like I said, mud. You'll get stuck in it. Like if somebody is fucking stupid enough, like obviously all of these are empty trailers. So if somebody was stupid enough to try to back from here, which it looks like they tried, like I said, just like ice, you're gonna get stuck like a fool. But the way I did it was, I backed from what I could see of the cement, because obviously that's way better traction. But yeah, man pretty much got to be careful so I might as well do my pre-trip and make sure that I got registration like this a freaking 317 so I know this thing is new so I always want to check your fifth wheel connection let's make sure we're connected and we are you see that thing in the middle that mean that we're locked so you know on your trucks you know, every truck has a utility light. So the utility light on, on this truck is right here. I got through my nails. Hey, Chris. <laughs> but the utility light gives you light in the back so you don't necessarily need, you know, your flashlight to uh, see in the back, at least right here to do glad hands. But you still gonna do need a flashlight when you gotta do the rest of this, so I might as well do my pre-trip. Man, this crap is muddy. You wanna check your air fairings, make sure they not broken, check the size of the trailer. I'm gonna check my lights once I hook it up. So I always check these dang tires. Man, every time you turn around, tires is messed up. But look like somebody have the lock unlocked. You can see it's unlocked because you see that pin is in so i'm gonna probably pull it up one more hole 
really two more holes. I always be in a six hole for good turn ratio, but I'm in South Carolina. So South Carolina is trucking friendly. I like South Carolina. All right. This place always leaves the doors open. So be vigilant out here, guys. Make sure ain't no monster back here. That's going to eat me up. So yeah, but see, look at that crap. Hopefully I won't get stuck, but brakes look good. Yep, this is a three, three one seven. So I know this is like a like a freaking brand new trailer. Damn near. So always be careful going in between trailers at night. Well, you don't never go in between no trailer at night at a truck stop, rest area, or other place. But even though you had a ship or receiver, you still be careful going between trailers because just because it's a ship or receiver don't mean that it's safe. So. All right, y'all, so let me hook my stuff up and this really concludes the day. I know my hair look a mess, but I'm going natural right now, so until I get it done. Let's check our lights. Oh, I gotta let my landing gear up too. Man, these landing gears can really mess up your shoulder, something bad. So please be careful out here with rusty landing gears. But let me do this real quick and I'll be safe. Cause uh, we still gotta check. Like a lot of people don't get in the habit of checking their lights. So I've been getting in the habit of checking my lights. Cause you don't know if you're going down the highway and you got signal lights, brake lights, even on your traffic. You know, check your traffic lights, cause I mean, you don't never know. So you get in front of that joint. Obviously, that's working. Headlights working. Marker lights. Marker lights working. Check your lights, cause you don't never know. So this is the signal light, the yellow one that red one uh let me see i probably need to go another way because this is like you know check the rear you know brake lights for the tractor or rear lights obviously my utility lights but that's really not important going down the road what's important is what people can use to see you so man you know what i hate though and i'm gonna make a video about it i freaking hate when you're riding down the highway and ignorant mother beeps don't cut off their high beams, especially to us truck drivers, and especially when another truck driver got his high beams on. Like, man, you know what the fuck I do? I turn on my high beams right back on their ass. I was trying to be nice, but you want to fucking blind me now. I had to blind you back. That's what that's what the kind of game we gonna play. So, all right, rear lights work, rear lights work, top lights work. So we straight. This trailer is a great trailer. Three one seven is cool with me. Yeah. So pretty much, I'm about to shut it on down because I ain't got no like I ain't got no time left. I ain't got no. I'm about to put a couple braids in my hair. My hair is thick. So, all right, y'all. Time is the essence. I'm about to make better time of it. Feed my kids. You know, go to this truck stop that's like less than a half a mile away. And get some rest and start it all over again tomorrow. So I hope y'all having a lovely night. Deuces.